What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Let's keep things relaxed. Certainly, Commander. I'll ensure music remains at an appropriate volume and arrange for some refreshments. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Nice ink, but you got a long way to go to catch up. Nah, I just got this when I lost my squad a few years ago. Hey, what's the story behind that? And how far down does it go? Tactful, as always. I have what? No I'm just wondering. I like tattoos. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Great so far. This is really nice. It's great. Quiet. After the excitement of a mission, it's a good quiet, right? But if it got a little crazier, I'd be okay with that. Relax. The night is young. I like it like this. You got it, boss. I'm just happy to be kicking back. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got that loose and like killed fun. all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad. But the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. Sorry. And after taking oh, down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> You people watching tonight, Edie? Participant observation. That sounds less friendly. It's actually quite the opposite. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. <laughs> well, you should see the hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. <laughs> oh, I'm you think? Him that. Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing.
can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. <laughs> Good story. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Boss Normandy. Even I get confused by Quarian names sometimes. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there, a button needs pushing. But Shepard always hogs that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good Justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. I'm guessing that's not what you think anymore. Well, she may still picture him in the shower. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. But you have no plans after Edie? Someone more... human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. Funny. Yeah, that's good to get out of the cargo hold. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between yeah, me and Brax. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. <laughs> no, it isn't. 
Baby Pijack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The I only so thing sad. he could defeat Excellent. is a glass of warm yeah. milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. <laughs> we should leave these two lovebirds alone. Let's not. I'd rather not buy new furniture. Wait, what? Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. Was dead. In my cycle, That's too many people in one room risked a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. Is that a joke? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Glad you made it. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, <laughs> Shepard gets me and Bryn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. <laughs> well, I can't say he didn't have it coming. <laughs> Shepard! I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good Justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. I'm guessing that's not what you think anymore. Well, she may still picture him in the shower. I love the views here. <laughs> I have no idea. A hundred Vorja. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. Did you really just say that? Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. Shepard. Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I think it's time to turn things up a bit. I will arrange for up-tempo music and additional cocktails right away, Commander. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarit. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarit and raise you Azoria, home of toxic spores and athletes' lung. 
Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wire. Right. Hey guys, Dr. Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded it? Ha! Ah. Then maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Oh. No. Great work. Oh, good. Thanks. No. See? Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like by. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. 
You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah, they were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? So true. Tony, please stop helping. You got it. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking, you know, Stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbed dextral cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. 
Wait, this is Dextro cheese, right? Kira, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward? Awkward. was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics... We can... We can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No! No, 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 you can't even, no. Oh, okay, sure, send it my way. Oh. We could just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that... Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. <laughs> what was the name? Oh, uh, yeah, no. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> oh, don't give me that look. What look? That I wanted to watch Joker break his hands off at the shooting range look. It's not cool to mess with people because they've got limitations, you know. Oh, next you'll be going on about how the strong aren't supposed to eat the weak. Uh, speaking as the weak, yes. But everybody's weaker than me. What am I supposed to do for lunch? Three words. Thresher, maw, jerky. Get me two. What? Because I've got two oh, hands, Jack. dumbass. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. 
<laughs> All right, I can live with that. Shepard? We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and worth much. Wow. Kinda makes me tear up a little. Kinda makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. James, this is a no brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy. Yeah. I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Hey. <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice? I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Hey, maybe I'll cook something. Caden, just relax. Hey. I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party. Well, that's good news. More drinks, yes? Jacob. L2? Okay. Easy. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? 
Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, Watch and learn. Hell yeah! Ha! Go for it! Ha! Captain on deck! Has he always been like this? You learn to love it. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard, but whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has Leon always been so blue? Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased, one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Goddamn right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, eh, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure, absolutely. I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a piss. Jeff. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? Hell yeah. It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request Whoa, to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you oh, talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, okay. That's, that's cheating. Where's my sniper rifle? So I won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. <laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Wouldn't you like to? Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Really? You have them all memorized? 67! Holmium! Very reactive, very magnetic.
magnetic. Dorian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight, 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. What? I don't get it. <laughs> I'll explain it later. <laughs> It's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. This was nice, you know? Serialized. Don't get much of that. If we are not completely annihilated by Reapers, and the galaxy is not decimated for thousands of years, then we should do this again. <laughs> Could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. Balls? <laughs> you got it, Vega. <laughs> Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. This is fun. Okay, just shake it like you, like you break it. Wait, wait, what? You people are the best. This is the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check me out now. Uh. Hmm. Your central nervous system is well coordinated given your inebriation. 
Looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? Jeff. Yes, Edie. That was a very bad joke. I love you too, Edie. Commander. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Who's here? Keela. I'm going to be so sick. Totally worth it. I'll let you know. Ugh. Who put my suit back on? The buckles are all askew. And when did I get an Omni tattoo? Let's see if anyone else is up. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Ugh. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085, 1086, 1087. Shepard? Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. 
Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm, good tea. Mmm. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that cuff. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Shepard, eggs? Shepard. Now that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? Oh, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Uh. Uh. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. So, last night, I didn't do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites, no hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or, alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey.
Good luck. Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, the Asari. I was one. The Ara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no, it was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. The apartment seems so quiet now. Shepard? Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. We threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. No. No matter what happens, you'll find a way to do what's right. For all of us. Serving on a human ship. I never would have guessed. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. <sighs> We've had a good ride. <laughs> 